Let's talk about the mystery of his presence. Glory to God. And by his presence, we are doing the impossible. Exodus chapter 33 and verse 12 to 14. And it's just so sweet to indulge in the pure, extraordinary fragrance of the word from heaven. And it just makes you stupid in the midst of beauty. My presence. So when my presence is involved, what is impossible becomes achievable. My presence. When my presence is involved, what is invisible becomes visible. When my presence is involved, what is unattainable becomes just reality and attainable easily. My presence. God knows that his presence is the cure. My presence. God knows that mountains respect his presence. He said, my presence. God knew that Jordan will have to, oh, oh by the way, how did they cross the Jordan? God gave, gave a formula. He said, ah, Joshua, let's speak to the priest. Tell the people of Israel, move forward. Um, just stay at the edge of the Jordan that had overflown its bank. Oh, priest, you will carry the ark. What is the ark? The ark was a tangible space by which God's presence will be encountered. That was the whole issue of the ark and the origin of tabernacle and temple. Where the presence will be contacted physically. And when in the New Testament, God came in his son and the son became the new temple, he said, tear down this temple and in three days, I'll raise it up. He said, you are stupid. It took 40 something years for this temple to be built. And the scripture says he was speaking of his body. And then Paul understanding this mystery said, don't you know that your body is the temple? And so, if your body is the temple, and the temple is about the presence of God being captured physically, tangibly, tell me which mountain will stop you. Just tell me the Jordan that you wouldn't cross. Every Jordan has an instruction to honor the presence of the one who made it. Tell me which demon will stop you. Only the demon that was not created, that created itself. Only the kingdom that made itself is the one who is the rising and the falling of every kingdom. Is the king that never become king, that has always been king eternally and will be king forever. Every kingdom defines itself and originates from him. And so nations and territories, they stand in awe of him. And when you carry his presence, what stings others gives you medicine. Absolutely. When you carry his presence, what stops others will facilitate your movement. Have you heard of situation that somebody will go to a place, if not that person who goes there, he says, ah, you cannot go, you cannot go. Well, one man there stops, and then somebody else goes. He says, you, don't tell anybody I helped you. Pass here. Pretend like I've not seen you, and you have not seen me. <laughs> Demons obey him. The demon that does not obey God does not exist. That demon is just waiting for someone who carries the key to giving the command of God. Because God is too exalted to command the demon. That's why he made his kind in the flesh. That's why he made his kind in the flesh. I just want you to know the logic of his presence and the working of his presence as a solution to everything you called impossible. You see, at the high point of adversity, the greatest thing you can do is to fellowship with his presence. At the high point of harassment and challenges of life, I think the greatest thing you can do is to set up the fellowship, the activation of his presence. You know, there are diverse levels of God's presence. God's presence is everywhere, but not felt. God's presence is felt where there is intentional connection with the protocol of honor. Honor is the secret key to the door of the presence. 
Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My, my flesh longs. My soul thirsts. My flesh. The natural desire of the flesh. The natural desire of the flesh. Stay with that scripture. Just put that scripture there. Just keep looking at it. My soul thirsts. The spiritual dimension. My flesh. The physical dimension. The soul. The longing of the spirit. The immat immaterial. Eternal dimension of man. That the greatest quest. If God is not the greatest desire of your life. You can never benefit at the dimension of doing impossible from his presence. If God is only a means, and the end, the greatest thing is about what you want, your money, your pleasure, your possession, if that is the greatest craving, your greatest obsession, then count it out completely. The possibility of doing the impossible through the presence. So the secret key to doing the impossible through the presence, maximizing the presence of God for impossible things done easily, is that your spirit, your greatest, the greatest desire of your soul will be about God. Lastly, Matthew chapter 14 and verse 23. Matthew 14 verse 23. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself. So the presence is by himself. We can stand here in the multitude of people, but you are by yourself. You can be here and there's worship prayers going on, but you are not by yourself. Your eyes are trying to find out who is doing what. What is what? What is what? And you are not by, you are not in that private place. Just forget about certain things. So just forget about certain things. So when it comes to doing impossible with God, your greatest desire before anything, before food, before pleasure of any kind, before satisfaction of any kind, before meeting the need of any kind, before anything, because you know before you was God, after you will be God. That's the secret. That's what that psalm says. Oh God, you are my God. Early. Early means first thing. First. Early. Early, and just is writ written in the gospel how Jesus very early will leave the house and go to a desert place and then will stay with the Father. Early. Early, I will seek you. Another version will say, earnestly, I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My soul, spiritual, my flesh longs. This is passion. This is desire. This is affection. This is, this is, this is, this is hunger. This is everything. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in this sanctuary. Oh. I have looked for you where? In the sanctuary. Why do we gather here? It's we are coming together to look for him in his world. In the community. In the communal grace. And the revelation of the word of God. So why do we teach? Why do we come to hear? Why do we tune into program? Why do we go back and listen to the message again? It is our this. It is just to prioritize. This is first. This is number one. 
Without this, I don't exist. This is before my wife. This is before my husband. This is before my children. This is before my job. This is before, this is before everything. That is the secret of God's presence. A solution in helplessness. Moses is told, my presence will go with you. He didn't say, and then a gun, and then a javelin, and then a, and then, and then, and then. No, he said, my presence, and then I will give you rest. Once my presence is there, it's okay. Patrick Grace Henry is the president, Grace Family Commonwealth of Champions. Worship with us every Sunday in any of our services. Rising Stars Assembly by 7 a.m. and Champions Family Assembly by 9 a.m. Earth Live on Planet 101.1 FM and Spectrum TV at 10 a.m. Every Thursday for Word Power Encounter by 5 p.m. Venue Goshen, Kilometer 14, Wangiba Road, Ekamban Sukara, Uyo, Akwaibom State. Join our live streaming on Facebook, YouTube at Grace Family Outreach and on the Christ Radio app. You can become a part of this great revolution by becoming a partner today. To all our partners and friends, we say thank you. For partnership, please call 0907-383-8742. For prayers, counseling, and inquiries, please call 0818-043-3225 or 0803-671-5303. Grace Family, raising champions from ordinary people.